Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Repo Products. Today's video is on Revit and the project browser and how to organize it a little bit better so you can get your views and sheets to display the way you want them to display. I have Revit 2020.1 open up. I have a Revit model open up. And on my left hand side, I have the project browser. If you want to, you can right click where it says views and head over to browser organization. In here, it gives you several choices, all discipline, not on sheet, phase, type discipline. I created a custom one called division and view purpose. The reason I did this is because I wanted to be able to go into that particular organization method and sort the views and sheets by custom shared parameters called view purpose. At the same time, I also went into the Sheets tab and created a custom display called Sheet Prefix where I went into Edit and under Grouping and Sorting and I set it to go to a very high character count like 25. So I want to explain why I did this and how you end up getting the view in the project browser to show up this way. If we look at the views, I have it sorted as division and view purpose. If we hit the plus symbol, you can see how it's being organized via for approval, for review, presentation, and so on. And if we look at our sheets, we can see that our sheets are organized via sheet prefix, setting up as zero dash facility management, general, civil and site, architectural, and so on. And as I expand the plus symbol for the sheets, you can see all of the sheets and what their sheet name and numbers are. And this is how I have mine organized for this particular project. If we right click and go back to browser organization and set it to the typical um, browser method that most people use, it's either going to be all or by discipline. If I say all and hit apply, you're going to see it just shows views, floor plans, ceiling plans, and so on. A lot of people want to go a little bit deeper and they'll switch it to discipline. And now it's being sorted by discipline, architectural coordination, and any other views that I set up by discipline. So how do I change this and how do I set this up? If I go to the Manage tab of the ribbon, head over to Settings panel, I can get into the Project Parameters. When you get into the Project Parameters window, you can set up as many custom parameters that you want. I have set up two of them, one called Division and one called View Purpose. If I click Modify under Division, you'll see that in the Parameter Properties window, it is a project parameter called division. Its um, type of parameter is text. So you as the end user can type in whatever you need. And I have it grouped under other. More importantly, that project parameter is looking at a specific category. And if we scroll down, you'll get to see it says it is looking at the sheets. So that parameter is assigned to sheets and whatever you type in there will help you organize those sheets. I'm going to cancel this and go back to the second one called View Purpose. And you can click Modify to get into its properties as well. And as you can see, it's View Purpose. It's still a text parameter. It's grouped under Other, so it's easier to see and get to. And if I go down to the categories, you'll see that it the check mark is placed under views. So the views themselves over here, you can set with custom project parameters. Now, once you've set up those two project parameters, head over to a specific view, for example, call out, and you look at the properties. If you scroll all the way down to where it says view purpose, I have mine set to zero dash presentation. And I created a several of them, zero dash for approval, for review, and so on. And now that I've done that, I've also gone to one of the sheets 
And if we go to a sheet and look at its properties, you'll see it has a division. And I have it called 3-architectural. And if I click inside here, I have others as well. 0-facility management, general, site, and so on. If I have set up all of my views and all of my sheets with the correct custom project parameters, I can go back to the project browser organization and create one called Division and View Purpose. And when we look at that again, we can see that it is grouped by View Purpose and then Family and Type for the uh, browser organization properties. If we go into the Sheets tab, I have it set to Sheet Prefix. And if I click Edit, you can see that it's sorting by division that custom shared uh, project parameter. Okay, and I have it set to a long uh, leading character is 25 because I want to see it to see, the software to see zero dash facility management. If I have a number, leading characters number say three, then it's only gonna read zero space and the dash. So the higher the number that count is, the longer, the further along it's going to read this line item. And as long as it's long enough to read the entire description, it will sort the sheets in this manner. So once I've set it up this way, you can see it says division and view purpose now, and it's organized in this vein. So why, lastly, did I set these as zero dash for approval or zero dash facility management? I set it up this way because Revit looks at the organization via alpha, numer alpha numerical uh, methodology. So if I were to change, say, for example, uh, zero dash for review to, say, five dash for review, that would jump down below the next one because it's looking at it numerically, then it'll look at it alphanumerically. So let's go ahead and say I want all of my sections. Instead of saying zero dash for approval, which you see down here, we can click in here and say uh, five or six. And once I've done that, you can now see it's shifting. It's not. It's no longer up uh, up here that's below zero for approval. It's down here where it says six dash for approval. So you can use the numbers to help you organize what comes first, what comes second, what comes third for approval, and then there's some more over here that says for approval that are zero. So if I go in and I switch this to say six, then it's going to jump on us, okay? And I can organize it this way. So a lot of people, they're going to say, we have a whole bunch of other views that are for review. And so they're not really set up to, to be ready to be displayed on the sheet, especially like working. Working would want to be way up high because we're just still working on the, the design. For review typically means it's something where it's further along the process. So maybe zero for review shouldn't be zero for review. Maybe it should be uh, like a six, I'm sorry, like a five right before the approval process. So if I go into these views and I go to the view purpose and I switch this instead of saying zero, I say five for review, then that view jumps down to the where it says five for review. And I can do this for any views that I want and it will organize them accordingly. So let's say, for example, I grab just a few elevations like this and I click inside here and make it five for review. All those interior elevations, in essence, have been set up where I think the design is done, I just need approval for it. And so it's going to jump into the for review portion, see? So once you've done that, all your views are organized the way you'd like in a numerical, alphabetical fashion. And then on the sheets, it's the same approach. See these that say zero, and then two, and then three? That's because it's going numerically. And so maybe the FM zero dash facility management shouldn't go way up there. Maybe it needs to go right after fire protection. 
but between consultant and fire protection. So maybe we want to make it 9.5 instead. So if I do that, all I have to do is grab these two view sheets and highlight them, go over here and change that number to say 9.5. Once I've done that, you can see it now jumps to that category 9.5. So this is a very, very useful way for you to organize the views and the sheets so they display the way you want them to display in the project browser. And that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know. And thank you very much for watching.